Hi guys, this is Barry with Coolit Systems. We've been getting a lot of questions on our forums and the other boards I go on about the Vantage ALC. So I want to take a few minutes to do a quick video and do a rundown of this product. Vantage is the second product, a second CPU cooler that we'll be launching this year. The first one is Eco. And as you can see behind me, both of these coolers have won a CES Innovations Award. Highly available and getting great reviews and I think that Vantage is going to be even more popular because it's got some special stuff built in I'm going to show you in this video. Inside the box, we have a nice foam pack. Uh, first thing you'll see is the manual. Vantage manual is a full color manual. We're going to put a link in the side of this video so you can download it and take a look. It has six languages, English, French, German, Italian, Russian, and Spanish. Uh, always nice to have good documentation when you're buying a nice piece of kit. So on top of the box, you have your AMD retainer. You have your back plates for Intel. And you have the screws to mount this to your uh, chassis. And inside the box you have the Vantage Cooler. So like all of our products, it's a sealed liquid cooling system. Um, there's absolutely zero maintenance. You don't put the water in, you can't put the water out. It's all done and ready for you out of the box. We go out of our way to make this really easy to install. The first thing you see is the thermal paste is pre-applied down here. Uh, one little step out of the way. And then we've got a, a really cool retention system. So for, for Intel, it's a universal design. And I'll bring it up close. You can see that all three sockets are labeled down there. So if you want to move from one to the other, then you just grab a hold of this thing, slide it down, and let go, and now you've changed position. If you want to go back to 1366, back up, and that's done. So once you've chosen your socket, um, this is going to thread into a back plate, so you put the back plate behind your motherboard, and then this is toolless, so you just tighten that in with your fingers, or there's a, a slot for a Phillips screwdriver if you want to tighten it with the screwdriver instead. That's that of the way. Next would be to mount your radiator. Uh, this is going to fit on any 12 centimeter fan slot in your case. Uh, on the PC behind me, I'll show you it's mounted in the back, but if you have a 12 centimeter fan in the top or in the front, it's going to mount there as well. One thing you may notice is that this fan is configured as a pusher. So this is the wall of your chassis, and this is taking hot air from inside your chassis um, and from your CPU, and it's pushing this heat outside of the, the box. On the back, there is actually a spacer. Um, this is just to help with case compatibility and if you wanted to it's easy to take off these screws, take off the spacer and put on your own 12 centimeter fan for a push-pull configuration. Radiators mounted, the last thing to do is to power the components. That's really easy too. So there's one connection here that you need to put on your motherboard. That goes on a four pin header on your board and then you need to power your fan with this lead and that just attaches to the fan right there on the corner. So that's your install, pretty simple, and now we're going to show you what it looks like in the chassis. So here is Vantage installed in the Santec chassis. Uh, as you can see, it looks different than any other CPU cooler. Um, that's because it is. Vantage actually has a brain. So it knows what it's doing, it can tell you what it's doing on the LCD screen here, and as we'll see, you can actually make it work the way you want it to work. Uh, what it's telling me on the info display is that the temperature of the liquid passing through the radiator is 30 degrees. My fan is running at 1100 RPM and my pump's at 2100 RPM. At the bottom it tells me that I'm in a performance mode. If I go to my buttons on my LCD screen here, I can just go to my settings screen. I can go down to mode and choose an extreme mode or a quiet mode. So that's great because it allows one cooler to be interesting for lots of different users. If you're just looking for a quiet computer, put it on the quiet mode and that fan will never ramp up. Um, and then if you want big overclocks, go to extreme mode and that fan will respond more aggressively to changes in temperature of the liquid. Uh, since it is smart, it can tell you whether it's happy or not. So if you block your fan or your fan gets blocked somehow, your cooler is not going to be happy so it's going to beep at you like that. It flashes and then when the obstruction is removed, then it's going to start itself back up. Um, same thing goes for monitoring the health of the pump. Um, the LCD screen right now is green. It's an RGB screen though, so just like we changed the, um, the settings, we can change the display. Uh, we can go to a blue light, we can go white, red, yellow. Uh, let's go back to, oh purple is good. We'll go back to blue and then if you wanted to make that light pulse, you can make it flash on and off like that. You can also change the orientation of the screen so if you mounted the head instead of sideways you mounted it up and down that screen will flip so you can read it more easily. 
Um, this is all stuff that's it's useful information and it's stuff that's never been available in a CPU cooler before because there's never been a CPU cooler um, with a brain like this. Uh, one of my favorite things about this is actually the, uh, the image display. So you just hit that to toggle back and forth. All right now it's showing the coolest systems image, but there is going to be an upgrade path advantage through a software controller we'll release later this year called Maestro. And Maestro is going to enable you to regulate the fans um, and lights in your whole case. We're going to do a whole video on Maestro later, but I want you to know that with Maestro, you'll actually be able to regulate the full Vantage controller because there's, there's a, a wireless module built in here that's asleep right now. If you had Maestro, it would wake up and you can do all those things I just did on the screen now through a software interface and you can actually edit your own bitmap image and throw up your own little logo on your CPU cooler, personalize your computer, make it your own. Pretty cool stuff. So guys, this has been Vantage ALC. As you've seen, it's easy to install. It doesn't take up any room in your case. It shoots that hot air out of your chassis. It looks good, and it's going to be an excellent performer. This thing will cool better than the best heatsink fans out there. Plus, it's got all that extra features and functionality that only a sealed system with a brain can offer you. If you have more questions, we're happy to answer them. Drop a comment on this video. Go check out our Facebook page or come join our forums at coolitsystems.com. I'm Barry with Coolit. This is Vantage JLC.